place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. 'Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. 'Cause I found my way. To Reflections Jimmy's Beach. So, Jimmy's Beach is located in Hawksness and it's an hour's drive north of Newcastle, New South Wales. So, we're here for three nights and we're staying on a slab site, Site 21. If you're coming here to stay and you're wanting a powered site, my top pick is Site 124. It is a large level slab site on the upper level of the park and it overlooks the pool, cabins and safari tents. It's close to the amenity block, coffee van, camp kitchen and outdoor area where there are picnic tables and a fire pit. The sites next door are good also but 124 offers that awesome outlook over the pool. 131 is a nice option, it is a double slabbed level site next to a walkway. The walkway leads you down to the pool area and the kids playground. It has a driveway type setup as well so it's sort of like a double slab with an extra double slab at the front. The slab sites in the area of 21 to 53 are nice double slabs. If you are in a motorhome, pick the side of the 20s or the 50s so you can utilize your chocks on the front as these sites are on a slight decline. Grass site 20 is a great corner block. So if you're after a large grassy site, pick number 20. You won't be disappointed with that one. Also the grass sites 24 to 27 are nice large level sites as well. If you're after an unpowered site, I'd be picking sites 161 to 163. They are level sites on an upper level. They overlook the picnic area, camp kitchen and fire pit. So they're a really nice option. If you're after an unpowered site and can't get those three sites, pick this area here. These are level, large, unpowered sites. This park has recently undergone a huge renovation and it now includes lots of cabin options if caravanning and camping aren't your thing. They have cool tiny homes which come in three different configurations. This is Tiny Home 5 which consisted of a large deck which will soon include a Weber barbecue. 
Inside you'll find a spacious lounge room, kitchen, dining area all in one. Then you walk down the hall towards the bedroom through a neat bathroom with a sink and toilet to one side and the shower on the other. The bedroom has a queen bed, loads of storage space, TV and air conditioning. These are an awesome option for a couple or solo traveller. There was loads of tiny homes under construction while we were there so there will be heaps more options and availability for those tiny homes if that's something that you're after. Next we walk through one of the amazing safari tents. It has this really unique, cool, luxurious feel to it and we definitely want to come back just to stay in this tent. This safari tent is safari tent number 15. You are greeted by a large deck with a barbecue which overlooks the pool. Inside there is a lounge, dining and kitchen area. You then come across a large four poster queen bed and this cool little hidden away cubby style double bed which is tucked away behind a wall between the bathroom and kitchen. This would be great for the kids or adult kids alike. The bathroom is spacious with a shower, toilet and sink. The last cabin we got to explore was one of the deluxe villas. These are in the pool area and surrounded by tropical plants that line the pathways to each villa. Each villa has a lovely large deck. Inside there's a large living area and spacious modern kitchen with modern appliances including a large fridge. Down the hallway there is loads of storage to the right and a lovely day bed bench area overlooking the gardens. To the left there is a room with a queen bed and a bunk above and then there's another room with a queen bed. Lastly, you enter the modern bathroom, which consists of a toilet, large shower and sink, which has some luxurious products for you to try. This park has two amenity blocks and one separate toilet block near the pool. There's an awesome in-ground pool, one camp kitchen and two kids play areas, one within the park and one just outside of the park along the driveway as you enter the property. Hawks Nest is a very quite coastal town. It's not very touristy like Shoal Bay and Nelson Bay is. In town you'll find a IGA liquor shop, fish and chip shop, as well as a surf shop and pharmacy. A five minute drive will take you to Tea Gardens, which has a co-op there. Make sure if you are a seafood lover, go and book yourself for dinner at Mum's, which is just behind the co-op. We had an awesome seafood platter there, including a lobster mornay. Also, Tea Gardens has a large Coles and a liquor shop, as well as a butcher shop in there. There's also a nice cafe called The Boat Shed. It's really nice for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Also while you're in Tea Gardens, go and check out the pub. It offers a really good feed in there. And there's also a gelato shop, so go and check that out on a hot summer's day. There are two caravan parks in Hawks Nest. That both are reflections. One is Jimmy's Beach, which is this one. And there's also Reflections Hawks Nest. Reflections Hawks Nest is more central to Hawks Nest Township, but it doesn't offer the pool and kids play area. If you're considering Reflections Hawks Nest, I did a review two years ago, so make sure you go and check that one out. We really enjoyed our stay here at Jimmy's Beach. This is a really nice park. It offers a really back to nature type feel. The tropical garden surrounding the pool and cabins add a really nice luxurious touch to this park. Highly recommend coming and staying here if you're coming to Hawks Nest. You won't be disappointed and we'll definitely be back to come and stay in one of those safari tents.